finally after a long amount of time I've returned to my local Walmart and I'll be going to Target soon considering that Case K is starting to be found by people and Case L is delayed. I might as well take this opportunity to showcase how Subway has changed. Some things are the same but a lot of it has changed for the worst. The overly whiteness of it all, the simplification to a blank background with a single item on it just like um, as previously showcased before, if I can find an example here somewhere, um, like this here and everything, as well as those terrible Blu-ray covers for various movies and all, like Shrek that just showcased the character's face and then a blank background and everything, it's exactly like that and that's just saddening. I loved the original look of the subway for many years and to see it be simplified into looking like everything else around it is just sad, but hey, there's Halloween stuff to keep me happy, I guess. Let's just hope that Walmart has some good stuff, but who knows? Target usually has better things, but my local Targets have just been Pixar, Pixar Fest stuff and nothing more, so let's hope that they've learned a lesson at Target and also stayed consistently good at Walmart. Oh boy, here we go. I was just randomly passing by here, and these are good examples of good covers and everything like that and all, regardless of your thoughts on the films and everything. <clears throat> These are how you do covers and everything. Nice and to the point, but not overly basic. Even these right here, no, even these have more depth than those bad ones I was talking about. Hey, good to see you, old friend. Ah, <sighs> This, this is the kind of blandness I was talking about and all. Not a whole lot better to these ones and all, but still just, ugh. Especially with DreamWorks and all, they do this all the time, and I just cannot understand or agree with it or anything like that. It's just dumb. But yeah, let's just hope they have good stuff. And here we are. Let's hope that they have something good. And man, this section is packed, and oh my god, what a mess. There's like a Murray Clutchburn here, a Jackson Storm Launcher, a Cartney Card for an H.J. Hollis, Corey Turbowitz, and a Fast Pong. It's looking like a mess down here. Endurance Chase. Endurance Sheldon. Again, what I said earlier to people and all is that these Endurance cars aren't selling very well, and then when they add the Michael and Flip cases and all, which I assume they're going to do multiple times, it's just going to peg more and more and more and more, and you're being very disruptive right now. Hmm. Finally, the obnoxious announcements are over. But yeah, Antonio Velasquezante, more haul or more launchers. I wish... I just wish we could get some haulers, please. That'd be nice, a Jackson Storm Hauler, and um, the more haulers, I mean, not, not hauler, I'm sorry, launcher, but anyways, um, got more endurance stuff over here, like Chase, and Jackson, and McQueen, and here we got Corey, and Rusty, Raul, Murray, Cartney, 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 Fabulous Light McQueen, um, Rusty, more endurance, Chase, Kurt, Cartney, Robert, Murray, Raul, Raul, Rusty, Murray. Still very obvious which cars don't sell well. And didn't they put one of these guys in case hell or whatever, like Rusty or something? <sighs> That's just mind-boggling, but um, doesn't seem like there's much else really here from what I can tell, but that's fine. Good seeing these on the side and everything like that, though. That's a weird McQueen picture. But yeah, <sighs> I just wish that... Walmart would have something other than just the same old peg warmers. Endurance Chase again, he's probably the worst of the bunch. Raul and Track Damage Crews. This is good to see and everything like that. But I just wish they could like do more re-releases of like, the tractors and Hot Rod River Scott instead of Junior Moon and stuff like that, you know? But hey ho, maybe Case M or whatever will have a lot of really exciting re-releases for the year. Who knows? Like easy idle tractor or something, that'd be awesome. But yeah, let's go off to Target now. Alright, now I'm at Target and everything like that and all. I was talking to my mom about the stock and why Case J has just been sitting around ever since my summer trip and it hasn't been changing to much else. Also seeing these adorable things like always. I still have my book of that on my bookshelf and everything. Don't know about the bear. I don't think I've ever seen that before. At least in person maybe. I don't have it still, but yeah. And I still have my Eric Carl elephant plushie and everything. <sighs> but yeah, let's uh, hope that Target please just have something different for once. Oh, oh boy, things have definitely- <gasps> Yes! Yes! Two of them? Yes! Rich hurry is mine, baby. The band is complete. <gasps> the pack! The pack is here as well! Oh my gosh, Target, 
well done. Okay, Walmart was just like, eh, whatever, and all, it's all right and all, but I wish for some change, but this is just, ah, yes, and another 11-pack, finally. And this is definitely peg-warming, wow, just like what Batty said, but, yeah, this is just very exciting to see. I don't know where the mini sting is for Thomas stuff. And yeah, and this is still here. I guess we're gonna have to get used to this stuff being here and everything, as long as it doesn't clutter and everything. Unlike how Walmart, which is a huge mess. But yeah, this is, oh, finally, this is very exciting. Let's just hope that maybe there's something else here. If not, that's okay, but, you know, other stores, uh, this case will show up, hopefully, at other places, but, or again and again, who knows. But Suki, Jumbo, Chimichanga, Rusty's McQueen, Rusty's McQueen. I've seen two of them. Jimmy Cables, and um, all the Pixar Fest cars. Ramon's sitting a lot in the McQueens. Nick Shift, Richuri, Max Schnell, Lizzie, good to see you, and Tony Velocicante. Is there no error on that? No, because if you remember from the Disney Docket video, he hoped for an error and he got one. Wow. Antonio, Pat Traxon, Fabulous McQueen, Harumi, Harumi, and Aiden. Is that it? Yeah. Even though, even though there's like nothing else here for me to get other than Rich Hurry, I somehow saw this coming. It is good to see all, see two of these girls together and all. It's good to see Aiden again. It's surprisingly not that bad to see Pat Traxon and Jumble Edge meet Chunga again. I don't know why it's not bothering me. Some of these are annoying to some people and all, but not too much for me because it's just been Courtney and Murray. It's just been Case J junk over and over again. I don't see any Sterling here. Um, but... Yeah, Antonio Velocicante here, and I want to get another look at this. Yeah, some decals are a bit smeary, and like a lot of Thailand cards, surprisingly, there's a lot more than you'd expect. Even even Rusty's McQueen here has a bit of it and everything. It seems like it's a problem on almost all of them. The cracks aren't nearly as well painted as on, like, China, and even Vietnam struggles with it, too. If you remember J.D. McPillar, he is bad with it, like, the, the mouth and the hood and everything. Ugh. Another reason why I don't like both Vietnam and Thailand J.D. McPillar, despite what people say. Most people prefer either one of those over the China version, and I respect the paintings, but I don't get that one. Anyways, but yeah, Pat, <laughs> you could be worse, buddy. You could be the Vietnam version. Speaking of Vietnam, it's good to see this. I may want to pick up these props, perhaps, but Sheriff's looking all right with a bit of eyeliner. Wingo, I like the vibrant colors, at least. Eyeliner's a bit thick. Boost, oh my god, what happened to Boost? Jesus. Both of the cracks in the eyes. Good lord, how do they approve of that? If I could get the camera to focus. Yikes, that, even without the cracks, that still looks horrible. Even the headlights and everything like that. Sheesh, Vietnam at times. Oh my god, and even the... Look at the hood. Look at the hood. Oh my god, and of course, Parson McQueen always has the bad eyeliner thing and all. And of course, I remember PCP's video. Come on, camera, focus. PCP's video on this pack and everything like that, and going, Ugh, you put, put some tires on me, Ugh. Ugh. and how, like, the back wheels aren't textured and everything. I agree with that. I'm so glad he mentioned that. Yeah, even the meat. A lot of these cars have a lot of problems on them. Tell me if you see anything that I'm not noticing and everything, but, yeah. Ah, <sighs> someday I'll get you, buddy. I'm not wasting money on this humongous thing and all, which I have, like, everything else here, aside from this cheap thing with a eye plate, huge eye line, and bad back rims jesus this is still awesome more of this please but not that <laughs> i'm going on for way too long about stuff but man just seeing this packaging and all it's just so awesome i see that they changed the dj thing i wish they kept the old separated weird looking eyes thing because it's just so old and classic but i could see why they changed it i don't know maybe it's been like that for a long time and i'm not knowledgeable of it but yeah man he is a mess though but what isn't a mess Sort of, is this. I'm just so happy to have this. I don't know if the back has changed, because the warnings and all, I know it's different from the normal Cars 3 backs and everything like that. If I could find an example from, like, um, that's Cars 1, Cars 3, maybe this will have it. Um, I know this is probably an earlier on one. No, this one's, maybe this one. Yeah, this is the perfect example. After a while, I feel like they just stopped adding new stuff to it and everything, but maybe with, like, Case L cars, perhaps they changed, I believe. Like Sarah, no, that's no, cars one. Anyways, I'm getting beside the point. The ones with the stuff on the back, I don't know if they've changed these. Hey, at least it's relevant to see Jimmy because he's there. Someday, China Jimmy. But talent ones ain't bad, just some minor problems. Okay, I'm going on for way too long about stuff, but yeah. Rich Hurry, I'm so glad to come out with this. Mwah. I may want to ask an employee real quickly if there's any more stuff perhaps on the way, if there's 
any more in the back or anything like that. But yeah, I can maybe ask somebody about that. Okay, I just asked an employee if there was any more, and he said there were no more in the back, and he scanned these two multiple times instead of these and all and everything. And I, I, I like explained to him the difference and everything. Or no, he just it was too busy saying that something about these whatever it doesn't it doesn't matter. All, I, all that matters is that that looks awesome. But the point is, this is finally mine. I am super stoked. My mom's gonna be stoked. And let's just hope that when they get more cases, or I'm, when they get more case K and everything like that, which Walmart and other Targets and stuff like that, they should. Let's just hope we find something other than just Rich Hurry, because this one's like easy to like expect and find and everything like that. Because it's a band member, they always put two of them. But Racing Reds, no, there's only one. And then of course, poor Dewey Conrad, again, only one. I understand the Racing Reds, but sometimes it's just not the classic racers. You need to learn that, Mattel. Floyd Morgan, you're on the... You're on the right path, Mattel, but you're not quite there yet. But, yeah, let's just say that this has been a success. Thank you, Target, so much for all that you have done today. Voila!